Welcome back, Guardians. My name is Easy Now, and you guys are awesome. But what is not as awesome as it should be is the first Cursed Hand Cannon. So I'm doing like a small mini review on it and my thoughts. And my thoughts are, briefly, that this gun is terrible. So, let's first and foremost have a look at the perks that this weapon has. Now, this is an exotic hand cannon which you have to do over a three-week period. There are time-locked quests where you have to wait for the... I think it's the arms day. Yes, it's arms day. So, first and foremost, dead eye. Bonus to range, stability, and movement when aiming down the sights. So, whenever you use this weapon, you want to be aiming down sights to do the maximum damage that you can and have the maximum experience with this weapon. You get a choice between CQB ballistics, smooth ballistics, and soft ballistics. So, I just went with soft ballistics because the others. Um, really take that stability or range down so I wanted the max stability and max range that I could have. Next we have triple tap. Rapidly landing precision hits will return one round to the magazine. Decent perk. The magazine size is 8 so you can very easily proc this to happen. This is very useful for PvE. For something like PvP it can work but I find that people move around and their speed really really make this perk pretty useless. Then you have a choice between quick draw for the weapon can be unbelievably drawn fast. We have lightweight for plus two character agility and speed reload. Reload this weapon quickly. All three of these perks in my opinion are terrible and useless. The speed reload doesn't give you enough of a boost to warrant reloading your gun because it is still a very slow reload. The plus two character agility works if you are that type of player. I'm not. And the quick draw just doesn't seem that useful in my opinion. And then the main perk for this weapon is the first curse. Precision kills when aiming down sights grants increased range and stability until the next reload. So this is a great perk, but it's useless in something like PvP. There's eight bullets in the magazine and you have to get a precision kill while aiming down the sights, which means either a body shot and two headshots or two headshots or three headshots, I should say. So, you know, you have to get perfect precision aim to be able to proc this actual perk. Now, the problem is this, is that if you aren't very good with your accuracy or people are just too quick in their movement, you are not rewarded for picking your precision shots. So if you have to take your time to aim at someone, you also have the problem of someone else just walking in and stealing your kill, and then you've wasted two bullets of your magazine, which makes this even harder to proc. So in my opinion, the perks of this weapon are very PvE orientated, and that's great. The last word, the original version of this gun, well, this is the original version of the gun, but I'm talking about in the timeline that we played this game, is a PvP monster. And this weapon is useless in PvP. This is a PvE monster. So, you know, I'm not too pleased with the gun. I feel like it takes too long to shoot. The damage it does is great, don't get me wrong. Even in PvP, the damage it does is incredible. But the perks that warrant you to actually be precise with your shots don't feel like you're getting enough reward to use this weapon. And there is also better weapons on the market you can use even legendary hand cannons are better than this but if you have something like a hawk moon this is pointless when you have something like a hawk moon and then if you're talking about pvp you have scout rifles pulse rifles etc that are all more useful than this weapon and this would not be worth using your exotic slot up for in my opinion so let me know what you think about this gun if you have it guys Hit the comment section hard, hit the like button if you wish to. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video.